Hi, I'm Melissa Verplank, and normally you see me working with dogs, but today I want to share with you an incredible tip for horses that we actually uh, use in the grooming room all the time, and that is the high-velocity dryer, and how it can transfer from the grooming room to the barn so well. This is Eileen. She's my 25-year-old uh, Frisian mare, so she's an old girl. Um, she has had this procedure done to her a lot, but we work with this with the high velocity dryer on all of our horses. We use it on our on our babies. We use it on our everyday riding horses to get them ready to go really, really quickly. Doesn't matter what breed it is. I've used it on all different breeds. When my friends see me do this with my horses, they're like, oh, I've got to have one. Can I try it on my horse? So I've used it on a lot of different horses. I've introduced a lot of new horses to this procedure. And honestly, I don't have any horse that has not allowed us to go through the process once they've been introduced to the high velocity dryer in a very slow and kind manner. And that can only sometimes be a few minutes, just like some puppies take to it really quickly. Some horses um, adjust to it very quickly as well. But anyhow, with Eileen here, what we did is we just brought her in from the field. It is March in Michigan, so the horses are in probably the roughest condition that we're going to have them in. She has not been brushed. Like I said, we've just pulled her in from the field. She's shedding like crazy. She's filthy dirty. And I want you to be able to see how quickly we can clean this horse up in as tough of condition as she is how quickly a high velocity dryer is going to clean her up. Now these high velocity dryers are loud so I'm just going to demonstrate the procedure but before I start with uh, working with Eileen and the dryer I want you to take a peek at the different dryers that we have. Now the two dryers that we have right here at Black Falcon Farm are my workhorse which is the K92 dryer. It does pull about 17 amps and when you first turn it on it surges a little higher than that. So you need to make sure that your outlets in your barn you've got enough juice to run this particular dryer. If you only have 15 amp outlets in your barn, you might want to think about the K91, which is one step uh, below this. Not quite as far powerful, but it's got an awful lot of punch that can do the job for you. Or even go down to the little mini canine. Um, this one only draws about 9, I think 9.6 amps. So it does very, very well for smaller jobs. It doesn't have the power of the larger dryers, but for quick cleanups, it certainly does a nice job. Now, if you do have a lot of hard, crusty mud on your horses, before I start with a high-velocity dryer, I will um, go over them with a rubber-type curry. She's not too bad. She's got a little bit of, of mud down on her lower portions of her legs. So I just really want you to see what this high velocity dryer can do. Now, when I first introduce a horse to a high velocity dryer, just like a puppy, um, I take the condenser cone uh, off and I only turn on one power and I will let the air circulate low around the horse's feet. If the horse has never heard this high velocity dryer before, sometimes we'll just let it run for a little while and just let them get used to the sound and slowly bring that air down around their feet. Once the horse has accepted that, then we start working the air a little higher up onto their body and we just watch for a reaction. Um, you, you push the horse as quickly as you can, but you don't want to take a horse that's going to blow up on you. Generally, all the horses that I have worked on have been at least halter broke and used to being handled. So I really haven't had any real issues introducing a horse to this procedure. As I said, Eileen has been done an awful lot. So I'm going to turn on one of my motors first, just let her know that I'm here with this. She actually really likes this whole procedure. It actually feels pretty good. Once I've got the dryer running up to speed, I'm going to turn on the second motor.
wish you could see, I have only done one side of her, but I think you can see how rapidly this worked. I'm not sure if you could see as I was working over this section how much dirt and debris was coming off of her. As I started working over her rump area, the coat was just peeling out of her. She's certainly still shedding. It's the shedding season, so she's going to go through this a couple more times. But if you remember how dirty and filthy she was and how much coat we were pulling up off of her back when we first started, and in just a few minutes, how much cleaner she is. It just is an amazing tool. It helps me. In the summertime, I ride two or three horses a day. It allows me to clean them up so rapidly. As I've said, these horses absolutely love this once they get used to the sound. It's like a full body massage. You do want to stay behind the air when you're working with the high velocity dryer and pushing the dirt and debris off of the horse. So I always stand towards the head and work back towards the tail, blowing the dirt and debris off of the horse. But it's a fabulous tool that can allow you to clean up your horses so fast, so easily, and they really enjoy it. So uh, bring those high velocity dryers from the grooming room what are you doing silly bring those high velocity dryers from the grooming room down to the barnyard you're going to be amazed at how fast you can get your horses cleaned up and ready to go for a ride and that's what we love to do is ride